for right now we're kind of doing our own thing so this part's got a glitch up here to make it easier i'll explain it but first let's see what's up We're the Twinklies. Protect us from the Twinkly Munchers as we hop across our tree. If enough of us get there, we can light the tree for you. So these guys are Christmas lights, essentially. But, nope, won't work. Alright, I didn't do the thing right. I didn't do the glitch right. Nope, didn't do the glitch right. Alright, never mind. I have to do it the normal way. Actually, I might fail it now. I don't think a single Twinkly's made it! Don't kill him! Fuck. I'll explain what the glitch is. Damn it. Alright, now we got a good system going. Now we're in the clear. Anyways, we're just making sure the Christmas lights get to the tree without being eaten by these green dickheads. No! I knew that the fuck face was going to do that, too. How? How the fuck? No! The little red guy's going to do it! Be the hero we need! Yes! Alright, alright, good shit. Does every 3D platformer have a snow level? They all should. Ooh, that was close, but we made it. Now, switch us on. Okay, so the way that this works is normally you can ground pound their little area, or you can ground pound them. If you come back and kill the first Twinkly Muncher and then run back over here, you can stand on the box. I didn't do it right away, so I didn't do it fast enough and I fucked it up. But you can run back and stand right on the box. And then none, none of the Twinkly Munchers will spawn. And then you can just stand there while 10 of them just run into the tree. It works out really well. Um, but yeah, snow level, we have ice cubes as enemies. All the Christmas lights are in place, so we just gotta turn them on with a couple egg shots here. I'm Helen Keller, she taught me how to shoot eggs. Anyways, we got it. Yippee, be a star and you'll find your reward. Hurry. Okay, I forgot about this section, so we have to fly through the star is basically what he's telling us. I'm gonna come over here and learn a thing from bottles real quick. I don't know if it's gonna count or not. Like for the timer it totally still does awesome time for some aerial action my devastating beat bomb attack so i fucked everything up we're gonna have to turn the switch on again when you're flying press x to launch kazooie like a missile choose your targets carefully though as it costs a red feather each time you use it i don't care about my low health bottles i'm on a timer here shut the hell up bottles okay i don't think we're making this in 20 seconds Baby. No! You know what? I'm just going to stay here. Now that I don't have to learn a move, we have it. Now that I don't have to learn a move, we, we've got it. I didn't even need to learn the beak bomb. It just makes things more convenient to know it. Come on, Banjo. Aim with me. Now we got this. That was almost impressive. So here's the thing. If I would have landed my beak barge or my uh, my ground pound thing, if I could have landed that inside of the star, like on the bottom of it, it would have counted as two. And then when the cutscene ended, I would have been flying again. So it would have worked out perfectly. And it would have been impressive. And I would have been happy. But that is not the way the uh, cookie crumbled today, as it were. But now we have all freaking day. So we're going to be fine. Almost impressive is like the story of my entire life. I could write a whole book about that. Almost impressive. There it is. Yeah, obviously landing is the worst enemy here. Because if you land, you're not flying. And if you're not flying, you're not going to the star. But we did it. And now the timer's gone. So we'll go into the Christmas tree and get that a little bit later. But for now, those buttons are just too shiny. I feel like I need to ram my skull into them at a million miles an hour. Because what else would I do? Now we got a Jiggy to spawn between the snowman's legs. A lot of setting up Jiggies right now, as opposed to collecting them. Jiggy inside the corn cob pipe, because where else? We're on a giant snowman. Uh -huh. 
Oh, look, we found a present. I'm a present. Give me to someone sad. Think? Big old ice cube dickhead up here. Um, is there something I'm supposed to... Did I forget something? I think I forgot something. I thought something made a Jiggy spawn on top of this dude's head. And now I don't remember what it was. Maybe I came up here too early. Whatever, we can always fly up here again later. Yeah, we can always come up here again later. Uh, for now, I want this Jinjo. I'm running kind of low on feathers because I had to do that Christmas tree thing twice, but we're about to get a couple of them, so. Oh, fuck! We're going to go back up to the snowman later. Uh, I kind of felt like chilling on his arm right there for a second. We're going to come down here for now. And I totally meant to fall there, is the moral of that story. A story of the rise and fall of Thundershot 69. Almost impressive. There's a bunch of dickhead snowmen who throw snowballs at us in this level. We are going to take care of them shortly. In fact, I could do that right now. That might be the play. That's usually the very first thing I do, now that I think about it. Usually the very first thing I do is take care of these snowmen. You have to be flying to take care of the snowmen, though. You can't attack them normally. You'll bounce right off of them. Get up some feathers while I'm in the neighborhood. And, yeah, let's focus on the dickhead snowmen for now. Ugh, I fucked it up! The water too cold for you, Banjo? Well, stay out! Uh, why is the water shit-talking me? Like... What do they gain from this? Alright, so... We learn our newfound Beak Barge move, which Bottles taught us when I was in the middle of panicking over the Christmas tree. Uh, to attack the X on the snowman's caps, and by knocking their caps off, as is snowman cannon, the snowman will die immediately. You guys have seen Frosty, I'm sure. But these guys are assholes, and they- FUCK! And they throw a lot of, uh, throw a lot of snowballs at us, so getting rid of them not only gives us a Jiggy, but it also keeps annoying snowmen from throwing shit at us, too, so. The win-win-win. They actually weren't total douchebags and put one of the empty honeycombs inside of a snowman, so that was nice. Creepily enough, the snowmen do have eyes, but you only see them in very few angles, and we got this! There we go. Is that all of them? Yup, that's what I was missing. You always take care of the snowmen before you go to the top of this thing. Well, now I gotta burn all my feathers again. Literally all of them. Am I gonna make it? Uh, we made it. We're, we're good. Alright, we're moving right along. Moving right along. Got three jiggies already. I think we're doing okay on notes. Not like great, but okay. So I have to get, it's weird, I have to get off of this snowman twice, like in two different ways. I think I'm going to collect everything up around here. The camera will get you. The camera in the N64 version was a lot worse because you had to navigate it with the C stick alone. And the C stick was really bad. And we have the regular stick on the Xbox and it helps, helps you keep control a little bit better. But I have to run down this scarf to collect everything and then I'll turn right back around and run up this scarf because we are done being on the snowman now. But there's two things I got to do while I'm up here. And one of them... Involves collecting everything on this scarf. Ah. This level's amazing, though. I love this level. Uh, a lot of flying involved. Most of it's fun. Um, big ass snowman. I'm a, I'm a real sucker for snow environments, though. Just in general. Alright, now we're gonna run back up, and I'm gonna take care of the other thing I need to take care of. Nintendo 64 console <coughs> or controller was made for people with free hands. Yeah, pretty much. Who approved that? Who was like, yeah, this is it. This is a good idea. 
Anyways, sled. And wham! Right in the old alcoholic stomach. Oof! Homie literally got up and gave out a big ass oof. I love it. That's better. Hey, you found my sled. I'll go practice for the big race now. See ya, buddy. Now notice... He was in a lot of pain and we got him out of pain, but instead of thinking, Oh, I should get some presents for my children and stop being the worst father in the world. He was like, all right, sledding, fuck yeah. Because Boggy's a deadbeat, alcoholic stepfather. Like, nobody likes Boggy. Boggy didn't like anybody. Nobody likes Boggy. That's the relationship. So, a lot of the snowmen had some good shit hidden under them. For example, this one had a granny switch. Which unveils a new Jiggy. Actually, I don't think... I needed to hit that granny switch. I don't think you actually need to hit that granny switch. I think you can beak barge that, and you'll kind of clip through the wall enough to pick it up, but this will make it easier. You taking off, Nerf Cat? Have a good night. Thanks for coming out. Oh. oh, I remember now. I was trying to think of what ability I needed from uh, the next level. But I remember now. So, it's just one. This should be one little section. Everything else I should be able to pick up for the most part. So that's Waza. Waza's a big uh, walrus, and Waza the walrus does not like Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Kazooie. Particularly the fact that Banjo's a bear scares Waza to death. Yikes, a nasty, fierce bear. Keep in mind, Wazi outweighs us by approximately 7,000 pounds and is eight times our size. But that doesn't matter to Waza. Waza's still creeped out by it. It's like an elephant beat. It's scared of a mouse almost. I Uber drove for the first time tonight. I had only had one really drunk chick throw up on the side of my truck. Her BF washed my truck and gave me a can of snuff and bought me a bottle of water plus a $20 tip. It was a Yo, you're an Uber driver, PZ? Good shit, man. Glad to hear your first night wasn't terrible, terrible. Alright. I picked up a present there. Uh, for some reason, it, it tells you you only have one present. It counts like every present is a different present instead of just being one of three presents, which is weird and throws you off, but you need three presents in order to bring them back to the kids. Uh, and I think if you leave the level, it might reset your presence. I'm not 100% on that, though. Rumbo Skull over there. We'll get that, because why not? I only do Uber Eats. I don't like people in my car. Oh, you're an Uber driver, too? Man, that's awesome. I don't know, man. I've ridden in so many Ubers, but I've never... My car is too shitty for me to be an Uber driver anyway, but... It's never occurred to me. Really big dickhead tied in a green Jinjo back here. those. Let's get that empty honeycomb piece. Uh, we did the snowman. I haven't climbed the tree yet. I think I'm gonna go climb the tree. Matt, nah, we'll just come back. I gotta climb the tree before we leave, but we've just about done most of the things we need to do here without transforming so ready to transform as you can see two back-to-back -back levels of mumbo transformations is running us kind of low on mumbo tokens we're only gonna have five left by the time we get out of here uh, luckily the next world doesn't take a mumbo transformation the two after that do though the final two in the game will wait no two of the final three in the game will i'm an idiot i'm getting sidetracked anyways change now captain Ginyu. Banjo gone all fat, got big teeth, her, her. Mumbo's making fun of us because he turned us into a little baby walrus. So now we're a walrus. Uh, first and foremost, the cold water does not affect us, which is very convenient for collecting these notes, which we are almost done with. Um, I think I know where some of the left, yeah. I know where some of the last ones are. We might be like five short or so. Oh, no, they're in the Christmas tree. Never mind. I think, yeah, we're good on notes. Mm 
So we'll collect these. So if you run over here as Banjo Kazooie, Boggy yells at you and he says, You're too fat for my sled. If you come back here as a tinier walrus, Boggy doesn't yell yell at you. And uh, it's actually one of the more fun parts of the game. We can race Boggy on the sled. All you need to do is steer your sled through the red slalom gates and beat me to the end. Got it? Three, two, one, go. This part gave me a lot of trouble as a kid. Uh, particularly this one. I think the when you're actually Banjo-Kazooie, the race is harder, but getting through the slums is easier. It's just easier to control the second race, because there's two races. In the first one, you're a walrus, and the second one, you're not. And the second one, we won't be able to do yet until we leave and come back, and you'll see why. Boggy kind of works on a rubber band system, so if you fall behind Boggy, uh, your ability to catch up to him is pretty easy, but if you're ahead of Boggy, staying ahead of Boggy is kind of hard. So basically, the race is always going to be kind of challenging. It's either he's going to be ahead of you, and... Uh, he's gonna be ahead of you and that sucks or you're gonna be ahead of him, but I forgot a note Give me that Good thing I saw that that could have been disastrous see how like when he got ahead of me though He slowed down a bunch. He became really easy to pass. That's basically what's going on there Sometimes he gro normally he makes like pretty normal way hey, or like happy sounds But sometimes he'll growl at you when you pass him almost sounds like a burp. It's really weird. Coming in for the home stretch as we reach the finish line, and jumping up the end is really fast. Phew, you're too quick for me, Mr. Walrus. Here's your medal. I reckon I need to race someone my own size. Like I said, that second race is with Banjo-Kazooie, but we won't do that until later. Bump. And look at how happy was it is to see us. Wow, another walrus. Take this. Watch out for his smelly brown bear and his ugly bird partner. He's so happy to see us, he just chucks it at us. Alright, and that is everything we do as the baby walrus. Um, I'm gonna go change back to Banjo-Kazooie now. Ooh, Mumbo Token. Been needing some of these. Well, hey, is a forgotten art, Martyr, and I appreciate you. I know this is really bad and I have no idea why. Hey, what up, Ricky? So while Mumbo's changing his back, I'm gonna blow my nose. If you don't hear me for a second, that's what's up. A coke yeah you're probably right we did open a coke can a little while ago and I've been drinking it through my nose so you're probably right that's probably it all right use the boots to get through the ice water because I don't feel like taking the hit the boots on a very short timer for some reason uh, so there's a couple things we can do in here oh you know I remember I was supposed to be the walrus and eh, it'll be fine It'll be fine. I actually was supposed to stay the walrus for a section coming up, but I'm going to do this section anyway, and we're going to see if it kills me or not to do it as not the walrus. It probably will kill me, but we're going to see if it kills me before I get to the thing I need to get to. Y'all see what I'm talking about when I get there, but first, Christmas tree, which has a mumbo token in it. Eek and bokum. Uh, we're in here for our third and final present. I'll probably take my three presents back to the kids first before, just in case I do die doing the other thing. We'll save that for last, to where it's not even bad if I die, now that I think about it. Y'all see what I mean. Y'all see what I mean. 5, 96, 97, 98, 99. Oh my god, thank god. I thought I was gonna be one short. Every note, good to go in that department. Uh, I can use the red feathers. I know we don't stop for these, but we're running kinda low on feathers. Get us back up close to that standard 50 mark. Uh, wait. Don't really need the eggs, but, uh... Get out of here! There we go. That's all I wanted. Presents back to Boggy's kids, because he won't be a father, so I guess we have to. Boop, boop, 
Jump in here. Don't worry, kids. Santa came early this year. One for you, one for you, one for you. Yippee! Now we've all got presents. Here's something for you. By the way, I'm pretty sure one of these kids is a girl. I don't know which one. But in Banjo Tooie, Boggy's three kids show up again, and one of them is definitely a girl. I gave the first one a bag of trash. Yeah, well, the first one was still pretty shitty this year. So, like, he got a present, but not a good one. I think I've done everything else in the level I need to do. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty sure. So, we're gonna head. Where are we gonna head? We're gonna head over here. I think. I think up here is what we're looking for. Up here is definitely what we're looking for. Okay. And we're gonna go into Wuzz's cave. Remember how much Wuzza hated us, but Wuzza's not blocking the path anymore, so we can go and walk in there. Uh, no harm, no foul. Fuck. I don't know if I'm allowed to have a hit taken here or not. I think I am. I think I'm okay. We're gonna find out. Eek! The bear again! Take that noisy orange thing with you and leave. Poor, leave poor was all alone. Alright, so there's the noisy orange thing. There is our uh, Jinjo. And which Jiggy is this? That is nine, so we only have one thing left to do. So in the Nintendo 64 version, this ice thing is this is an ice wall and it's blocked off and you can never get past it. In the Xbox 360 version, stop and swap is enabled and there's a really cool ice key chilling over here. The ice key's here in the N64 version as well. Uh, but you can't get in here. You can never get in here to get it because it was part of stop and swap. And like I mentioned earlier, that idea was never fully realized until the Xbox 360 version came out. Uh, they actually felt so bad about it, they put the ice key in Banjo-Tooie for you to collect, and they replaced it with something else in the Xbox version. But I forget what. I forget how they did that exactly. Anyways, the reason I wanted to come in here uh, as a walrus was... Oh, God. Wait. Uh, I might be in trouble. The reason I wanted to come in here as a walrus was for this section over here... Because I just had to do some real fancy glitch level stuff to get Banjo in here. I don't know if I have enough health left. I don't think I do. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, I did it. I had enough health. Oh, thank god. Cool. Kill me. End my life. So normally, you cannot get Banjo and Kazooie in there, right? They're not supposed to be able to fit down there. But by being on Kazooie's back when you take the hit from the water, it drops you low enough to where you can swim. And you know Banjo's not supposed to be in there because Banjo's trying to surface swim. Uh, I think I'm going over here. Banjo's trying to surface swim even though he's in the tunnel and completely underwater. You keep taking hits from, uh, from the water, like the water keeps killing you because you're supposed to be in there with the walrus. It's cold water. But you can't do it with Banjo if you do that little... I don't know, trick thing I did. And it works out pretty nicely because I was going to have to run all the way back to the entrance after that anyways. But instead of having to run all the way back to the entrance, I just died. Alright, can't do this section yet because we need those shoes. So remind me to come back for that later. Let's see if there's anything important up here. Mumbo token. That is a really, really cool wall, by the way. If I can get far enough away from the snowman to where he's not going to chuck snowballs at me. This is a really neat looking opening to the level. A couple snowmen. Anyway, we're ready for the next area. I'm still here. I watch you play, but I can't think of much to say. So thanks, Grunny. This is not where I wanted to go. Open the wrong note door. We will go there later. But not yet. Uh, where the hell do I want to go? Oh, I want to go in here. Different witch's mouth. Five hundred notes means we've completed five levels. We have Gobi's Valley, Mad Monster Mansion, Rusty Bucket Bay, and we have four levels left. Okay, there's nine levels in this game, which is all fine and dandy. We're over halfway done, technically speaking.
And this is the next world. Okay, so now we backtrack, and Gobi's Valley was the level that has the move in it that we need in order to complete Freeze's E Peak, and also, coincidentally, the move that we would have needed to complete uh, the Mr. Vile challenges when we were an alligator. But. Since we ain't no bitch, we did the Mr. Vile challenges without the boots, or without the shoes, but this is where we learn the speed shoes. And the speed shoes are pretty nice. I believe they're hiding a Bruntilda behind me, right over here. <laughs> 